In this video, we will be discussing how to make a histogram, a scatter plot, and a bar plot in R. And so, in order to make a histogram, so let's first create some data. So, I'm going to type data is equal to R norm 100. And so, this draws 100 random valuables from a normal distribution centered at with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So, I'm going to run that. And then, in order to make a histogram, we simply type hist data and so I'm gonna go ahead and run this now in order for us to add a x-axis label we're gonna simply type x l a b is equal to so I'm gonna just put it as x label and then in order to add a y label we type y l a b and then I'm gonna put this as y label <clears throat> and then in order for us to add a title we type main is equal to, and then I'm going to just write title. And so if I go ahead and run that, we have this value right here. Now one more thing I'm going to do, I'm going to also change the color. And you can type col is equal to, and then let's change it to blue. Okay, and so now moving on to a scatter plot. In order to make a scatter plot in R, let's create, let's make our first set of data, x1 is equal to 1 through 10. And so this is what that looks like. x2 is going to be the same exact thing. And so now making a scatter plot of these values, we expect it to be a straight line. And this is simply made by typing plot. PLOT x1 x2 and so here we go so, straight line and you can add the using the the same commands for the histogram you can add a x axis label a y axis label and a title and color and so finally to make a bar plot we simply use the bar plot function and so the input are the lengths of the bars and so let's say we want the first bar to be two units high, the second bar to be five units high, and then the third bar to be 10 units high. Uh, these are the values that we're going to input. And then uh, in order to add the labels, we're going to add names is equal to, and I'm going to simply name them first, second, and third. And so if we go ahead and plot this, you see the bars with the expected lengths for, and then the labels first, second, and third. And so this has been a video on how to make these three simple plots in R. Thanks for watching.